Well, look, the, the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary set out their plans quite clearly uh, a few weeks ago. And in fairness to them, they knew that this would be challenged. And indeed, it has been. And we're right at the, uh, the, the heart of it now. I think the reality is that everything else has failed. Mm. And uh, the numbers coming across the channel are growing. It's expected to be two or three times last year's number. The cost to the taxpayers of this country is enormous. It's billions of pounds every year. And firstly, Ali, I think it's important to remind yourself, we've always been a very welcoming nation, and we are more than doing our bit at the moment. We're welcoming people who've suffered from uh, unfair Chinese behaviour in Hong Kong by, by welcoming tens of thousands of people from Hong Kong, from Afghanistan, from Ukraine, quite rightly and properly. And I think we, we're showing a strong example in that. But you know, this illegal immigration, when there are safe routes, such as the ones I've just mentioned, it, it has to be stopped. And I believe that that is the will of the majority of the British people. And that's what the government's trying to do. And I, I hope that uh, after these various court cases, that this is where we get to. And people talk about, let's be you know, let's be kind and compassionate. The kind, safe and compassionate thing to do, I believe, is for people to be processed in the safe country of France that many of us go to holiday and enjoy. That way, you avoid giving money to the vile people smugglers. You avoid the, the horrific dangers of coming across the channel on a small boat. You avoid the huge cost uh, to the British taxpayer. And I think that is actually a kind and more compassionate thing to do.